Well, now the global news. Thomas Matthew Crooks is the suspected shooter in Donald Trump's attempted assassination. The FBI identified the 20-year-old as the subject involved in the shooting. He reportedly positioned himself 130 meters or about 400 feet away from the stage at Butler Farm Show grounds where Trump was addressing a rally. An eyewitness who was there at the rally claimed that he saw a man with a rifle on a nearby roof just moments before Donald Trump was shot. We could clearly see him with a rifle, absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police are like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? This is how the sequence of events reportedly unfolded. It was a busy day of campaigning in Pennsylvania for the former U.S. president. As Trump began his speech, eyewitness spotted a man with a rifle on a nearby roof. They alerted the police and Secret Service agents beforehand, but Trump continued with his speech. Moments later, multiple gunshots were fired at the venue. Loud bangs were heard at the rally. A bullet pierced Trump's right ear, after which he ducked. At this point, Secret Service agents were seen stationed on another roof near the gunman. Take a look at what happened. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Well, soon after, the suspected shooter, Thomas Matthew Crooks, opened fire and he was killed. The investigation by the FBI, the Secret Service and law enforcement officials is currently ongoing as the motive behind the attack is still unknown. As authorities seek to understand Crook's motivations, this is what we know about the gunman. Former schoolmates have described him as a quiet student who often came across as lonely. A classmate said he seemed socially reserved and recalled that he had often been bullied. But he did not recall hearing him discuss politics or Trump for that matter. No, I didn't have any classes with him. Um, I had my only interactions with him were just seeing him in school and he was bullied, uh, sat alone at lunch. I mean, he would sit alone at lunch. I mean, he was just a house pass, and you know how kids are nowadays, so they're going to see someone like that and they're going to target him because they think it's funny or whatever. So, so that's what I can describe it. It's honestly kind of sad. Crook's neighbors have also expressed surprise as well as embarrassment over his involvement in the assassination attempt. A local district attorney in the neighborhoods has said, you just can't predict human behavior sometimes. I've lived here my whole life and you just don't think that something like this would happen in your hometown. We even had a, a, an attempt on a, on a president, an assassination attempt in, since Reagan in 1980. Now for it to happen in your backyard, you just don't expect that. So um, it's embarrassing for the community, but at the same time, I mean, you just can't predict, uh, you know, human behavior sometimes. 
According to the FBI, the shooter is believed to have worked alone, but his uh, political leanings are unclear. Public records show Thomas Matthew Crooks was registered to vote as a Republican, but made a small donation to a Democratic-aligned group in 2021. According to reports, Crooks had been working at a nursing home and the organization was shocked to hear of his involvement in the shooting. The FBI has stated that they are probing the incident as an assassination attempt and also a potential domestic terrorism act. We are investigating this as, a, as an assassination attempt, but also looking at it as a, a potential domestic terrorism act. So our counterterrorism division and our criminal divisions are working, working jointly together uh, to determine uh, the motive uh, in this case. The FBI has also said that the gun used in the shooting was an AR-style semi-automatic rifle, which was bought legally. Investigators believe that the weapon was bought by Crook's father. Following the incident, investigators found a suspicious device in Crook's car, which was inspected by bomb technicians and is being analyzed. They noted that suspected explosive devices have been collected as evidence. Authorities are now in the process of searching Crook's phone as well.